What's good YouTube? It's your boy Mike coming back again with another video finally. I just want to say thank you to all of you for being patient with me. Uh, I know I haven't been posting too much but I still have a lot of you guys messaging me uh, telling me that you're watching the old videos on repeat and that it really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. I would like to make more videos. I've just been super busy with full-time work and then that only leaves about two days a week of free time. And then in that time, I've been working on other projects. Um, some styling projects, just shooting photography for fun. If you want to see any of that, you can follow me on Instagram where I post a lot about that stuff. Um, anyways, anyways, anyways. Today I wanted to show you guys three go-to easy outfits for the fall winter. A little non-hype beast action, you guys know me. Yeah, they're all a little bit goofy, a little bit fun, but that's my personal style, so I really enjoy them. And I hope you guys do too. If you haven't already, be sure to like the video, subscribe, comment down below. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so for the first outfit, I'm going to show you guys something super easy. Something that I have worn multiple times a week on multiple different weeks. Um, it's just going to consist of your favorite overshirt, flannel. For me, my go-to flannel is actually this one that I'm wearing right now. It is actually a L.L. Bean flannel that I thrifted. And then, I don't know if you can tell or if it's going to show up on the camera. Um, I just took and I cut it into a mandarin collar. I think it's a little bit easier of a look. I really like the shape of a mandarin collar. In addition, I went ahead and I cut the seam. Um, so now it's just straight all the way across. So this is my personal favorite. Go out, thrift one. Everyone does a flannel. Just find one that you really like, that you appreciate the pattern on and buy it. Then for the pants, this is going to consist of your your favorite pair of jeans or work pants. Something that you can wear and beat on every day. Something that is going to not deteriorate and get worse with age, but rather become better and become a little bit of yourself. Um, so mine is this pair of raw denim from Acne Studios. It's called the 1996. It's my favorite pair of jeans I've ever owned. I typically am not always a denim person, um, just because I haven't found any that fit exactly how I want them to. However, these do. This is in the indigo color, and it is raw, unwashed, unsanitized, 100% cotton. And these are just a really nice pair, and I haven't been wearing them for too long, but I'm already starting to get a little bit of a fade on the pocket. I don't know if you could see it there. So throw on your favorite pair of jeans. And then for the shoes. I am going with the Mason Margiela Tabby Flat Sole Leather Boot. Um, these have a side zip on them. The leather is so thick and texturized that as you wear it and as it creases, it starts to grain up a little bit. This goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe, but it's just a basic black leather boot that has something a little goofy, a little funky with, uh, with the camel toe that you got going on on your feet. They fit true to size. It's an incredible pair of boots. If you want to see a full video dedicated to these and maybe some other shoes, comment down below and maybe we'll see that. But yeah, that's what's going to be on the bottom. Let's see how it all looks together. Alright, so for the next outfit, this is going to be your outfit when it's just kind of nasty out and you want to be super comfy and cozy. But for me, up top, my current go-to hoodie, my favorite, uh, actually the only hoodie I own now, is this Afix Works hoodie. I got this in like kind of grayish blue color um, with the red screen print on it, as you can see right here. It also expands to the back. and. The quality on this hoodie isn't insane, but it is super soft and super cozy. It's a fleece on the inside, not a terry. Honestly, anything Kiko releases, drops, sells, gives away, I'm gonna get because I want to support him. And I can't wait to see the growth of his brand. And the Women's Wear show that just happened was incredible. Me and Vanessa might review a few shows coming up and I would definitely be involved there. So on the bottom is gonna be your favorite pair of work pants. 
Right now, I've been rocking with a navy pair by the likes of Ben Davis. Ben Davis does a great work pan, and I was originally turned on to these by my uncle, actually, who does a lot of skating. And in all the times that his Dickies and Carhartt pants have worn out, his Ben Davis pants have done him justice. But the quality's there. They're super thick, real nice, super high waist, which I do enjoy. Oh. So for the shoes, uh, it's gonna be another pair of something by my favorite designer. These are the Kiko Kostadinov and Camper collaboration. This is on the TX model. I got the brown low top version. These are probably one, for sure one of, maybe even the most comfortable shoe in my wardrobe. The leather starts off brown as it starts to wear and tear. It gets almost like burgundy. It's a really nice color. And you also have some green hits on the back here. Um, you can see some green like mesh-like material. These are uh, Gore-Tex, so they're full weatherproof, waterproof, rainproof, mudproof, snowproof, sleetproof. Everything proof. It's a really good pair of shoes. Why don't we see how it looks all together? Right, so for the last outfit, this is gonna be something still very transitional. I'll start from the top. You can just wear your favorite black t-shirt, hoodie, but it's not gonna really be doing much of the talking. It will be covered by this big, beautiful Acne Studios overcoat. This is the Charlie model. It features four buttons, a relatively high lapel. The material is really the coat's strong suit. It's a material that Acne Studios um, does specialize in for most of its overcoats. It is a 8515 wool to cashmere blend. It's called Dublé. And basically a main advantage of these overcoats is that they don't wrinkle. They travel very easily and you can just kind of ball it up into a suitcase and when you get to your destination you take it out and it's ready to wear. Super easy maintenance. Then for the bottoms, I'm going to be going with this pair of pants which actually is my most recent pickup I just grabbed them yesterday but it is this pair of Levi's collaborated with by Junior Watanabe I believe these are from 2006 correct me if I'm wrong but these just have a really playful print on them Hall middle school hornets I think it adds a really nice kind of playful look to your outfit it keeps it not so serious which is something that I really enjoy these are made out of 100% wool, which makes them very warm for the winter and fall. Recently, I've kind of stayed away from dressing neutral in blacks and whites and started to really play with color and uh, not matching so much as just playing with tones that complement each other. So those are a real nice shade of purple. We're going with those in the middle. This is a pair of Asics that Kiko Kostadinov also collaborated on. Um, this is the Gelbers 2 model. It's almost like a hiking orange, reminds me of something Keen would do, maybe Merrill. Um, a really nice pair, and the three shoes I showed you today are probably the most worn shoes in my wardrobe. These are incredibly comfortable because it is an A6 model. They also have a nice toe cap here, so it's a running shoe that, although you typically couldn't really wear in the winter, I'm going to be able to throw on. Um, when there is a little bit of slush, a little bit of snow going on, and I'll be okay. And I think the orange, and the purple pair really well together, kind of uh, spooky for uh, October, Halloween, and the fall ahead. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me for another video. If you haven't already, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe for me, I appreciate it, and leave a comment if you do feel so inclined. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, also follow Vanessa on Instagram. I'll leave both of those links in the description. 
you want to talk, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm pretty decent at responding on there normally. And uh, hopefully film a few more videos soon so that I can provide you guys with some content to watch. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. And until next time, we'll see you later.